Welcome back, I'm Quentin, and today we're going to be looking at getting video recording software for a Linux. So, I've tried some nicknames here, and, well, none of them really work for me, so I'm just going to stick with Quentin, which is my actual real name, because some people call me Ermin. So, with Linux, there is this slight issue, right, where you don't really have all of your video stuff in the same spot, like the screen capture, the face cam, and the audio aren't all in the same spot, so you got kind of got to dig for it, you got to work for it, but afterwards, it's not that difficult to use. The first thing that I, that I got here was the audio recording. So I use Audacity. So right here, you can find it in the software manager. Once you go to software manager, go to sound and video, and it should be there right by the top. You just click install, and Audacity is really nice. I mean, you, you can record, you can edit your sounds with it, and you can really play with your sounds. Once you got it installed, you should get the little check mark that says installed. So then you'll want to go into your you've got sound and video. Audacity's here. We'll lo load Audacity up. All right, so you just want to click OK here. So the main thing here is you can see no microphone is selected here. You click on this, and then you get all this choice. And then you can click record. All right, so this isn't going to be working right now for me because the screen recorder is using my audio. But if no other program is using your audio, this should work perfectly. You, you just got to kind of play with this until you can find the one that works with you. You can click on effects here and change the speed, pitch, everything. So that's pretty cool stuff. So the next thing that we needed was cheese. Cheese is the webcam capture. So it, uses, it takes pictures and videos with your webcam, but it doesn't have any volume. So that's why you need Docity so that you can record both the, your face and your audio. I installed that, it was a quick install. Once you get it installed, then same thing as the Docity going to start menu is cheese. So, so there's my grubby little face. You can take, you can take photos or videos with it. Just gotta click on this. The only thing is, is that it gets no volume. So, this is why you need a Docity. So, so you take this record the recording from here and the Docity audio recording, and then you're good to go. It's actually not bad. I mean, for Linux since. See, with Linux, every nobody's really getting paid for this. I mean, sure, there's a few sponsors and stuff, but overall, people aren't being paid to make the software. So, for free software that people are not const that aren't being paid to work on, I I think this is pretty good. You can't ask for much better than this. All right. So the next thing that you'll need after you've got cheese and Audacity is you're going to need an editor because you're going to have to line up the audio track that you get from Audacity with the video that you get from Cheese. So so you just type that right into Google, the shortcut download. I use shortcut, really stable editor. I've only had one glitch with that and I'm pretty sure that was a Windows issue when I was using Windows. But this is a pure Linux machine and so far it's doing pretty good. It's a very stable editor. So. You go right to the website, it should be, you want to look for the HTTPS, which we have right here. Alright, so they have quite a bit of selection here. They got stuff for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, I went with the 64-bit Linux portable zip file. You want to download that, just click save file. Alright, so then the next thing is that you're going to want to double click on that and open it up, and then you'll get the extract to option. So on the top there, you want to set your location. I set it to Ermin, which is my home folder. So uh, it extracts the everything to it. So so and then I, I extracted it. I think the extracting was surprisingly fast. Once it's completed, you'll get this. You can click on show on files to find where you put it, or you can go to where to specify the path to be. All right. So the folder right beside the blue pa the brown package there is your shortcut folder. So you want to open that up and you've got shortcut right there. So you can copy that whole folder and just put it on your desktop and then you can access it from there anytime you want. I've already moved my shortcut folder up here to the desktop so I can easily access it. So you just want to double click right in shortcut. So then you should come here. So now once again, click on view and then you can play with this a little bit but I'd put timeline there. And then you click open file and then you can choose the file. So there's a video recording click open see no sound at all so then you just drag this down here and then you right click and then you click add audio track all right so you want to scroll down a little bit and then you go open file and then you want to match up the file that you were working with 
Uh, you just gotta find the right one. <laughs> Alright, so then you just drag this down here. Sorry about the audio. And then you're gonna want to line this up. Then you just drag this over here, drag this top bar over until you. For me, it's the cuts when I say and cut. So you just want to scoot this over ever so gently. Gotta move it a little bit more. Alright, so you kind of got to play with it a little bit. It's a little, little finicky. Alright, so, and then you just press S where you want to cut it. Go to where you want to cut it and then cut. And then you cut that back there. And, oop, control Z. At S. Alright, make sure you hit S. And then you cut both those out. Alright, so that's how, how shortcut works. Pretty simple. Alright, so now the last thing that we needed was a screen recorder. So, I after trying a few, I, I've settled on simple screen recorder. Alright, so for installing the simple screen recorder, you're going to want to go into the terminal. I have a shortcut here on the desktop, but you can, on most Linuxes, there's one down here on the, on the taskbar here on the bottom, and one in the start menu right here. So you just click on that. You're going to want to type sudo add apt respiratory ppa um, colons martin and then barra and then dash simple screen recorder. Once you hit type that in, you hit enter. You'll be asked for your password, so you want to give that, and then you'll be getting, and then you'll get this other thing asked, what saying press enter to continue or control C to cancel. So just press enter, and then, and then everything should be imported. Right, so then the next thing that you want to do is type sudo apt get update. So then this way it goes and gets all the resources from the website that you're going to need. So then the last thing that you want to do is type sudo apt get install simple screen recorder. So then you just hit enter there and then it should just go all nicely. And then once it's done, again you'll go into sound and video and then you'll see simple screen recorder. You'll just want to click continue and then right here you can make your basic selections. Right here is where you're going to want to choose your sound. So you click here and choose right where choose your microphone that you have plugged in and then it automatically captures the audio for you, which is really nice. Along with if you click record audio and it lines it up all perfectly. Then the next thing you do is click continue, browse for a destination and name it whatever it you want so just we'll name it test save and then continue and then you click start recording whenever you're ready and then when you're ready to stop recording you click save recording be sure to check out our other video on setting up obs on your linux and getting that webcam in the corner and then we'll also be fixing the some of the mo more common um glitches with most screen recorders on linux namely the occasional flicker and I hope that this video helped you out. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about recording in Linux, you know where to leave them. If you like what we do, be sure to subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Quinn and out.